Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about something called split entitlement. So before in one of my previous videos, I explained what entitlement was, and it's essentially the amount that the veteran or the VA can guarantee on the loan, right? So let's say theoretically you've got two uh, active duty members and they want to buy a house together, but they're not married, right? So this is a situation where split entitlement comes in. Um, so let's say they bought a house for 192 k and the entitlement comes out to 48k what happens is on their certificate of eligibility it'll show a split entitlement so 24k of entitlement used on one and 24k on the other and this is important because the amount of entitlement you've used determines how much more you can buy without having a down payment right again if you have no entitlement being used Technically, you can buy as expensive a house as you want, as long as you know you qualify debt to income wise, credit score, um, and things like that. And, and this is just important because um, you know it, it helps you plan for the future if you plan on buying more than one house, right? Um, if people are married, though, if if two uh, you know a veteran in active duty or vice versa or both, right, are married and they both have entitlement, what we typically recommend is you max out one person's entitlement before you know splitting it and affecting both that way you know at least one person will always have all of their entitlements if you've got any questions about your entitlement how much you have left how much you can afford without a down payment feel free to hit me up thanks